Not Scratch here. Today we're off on another road trip to um, a old coal mine actually out in Nordag, Alberta, out in West Country here. And uh, it's a 1912 coal mine, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, there's a bunch of gold equipment and old car wrecks out there and stuff. And we're just going to go out there and do a tour for you. So uh, keep watching. What a beautiful day for a drive. Really enjoying my uh, Cartier today. Every time I drive this car, it makes me feel like I'm rich. I'm not rich, I'm very poor, but. I'm rich in cars. About five minutes on uh, Nordag now. So. Very scenic drive out here if you ever get the chance. I highly recommend it. Lincoln just floats over those bumps. Floating on air. Got air riding this Lincoln. Peter Lincoln's on springs. Awesome day or what? Yeah. Gonna have fun? You can talk on camera, don't be so shy there, bud. <laughs> so we're just turning into Nordag here. They got a really cool sign as you turn in here. Now she's gonna show you that. Right there bud. Make sure you get that one up there too. And we got another one here. Got a couple of them. This is a little town at Nordag. It used to be a booming mining town, but uh, now it's a bit of a resort town because of the museum here and all, but uh, it's mostly a historic community. There's some historic buildings around town here and whatnot. Got a little golf course here. Here's the uh, main business in town, the Nordeg Resort Lodge, and they got a nice little restaurant there, and then they got a cool old uh, store here. And then they got the little beer cabin there. It's kind of a landmark. It's been here a very long time. And the little gift shop. coming up to the museum here and this is where you would start your uh, mine tour so if you're interested in coming here for a mine tour this is where you uh, come right here to the Nordag Museum and uh, they'll have a tour guide who will walk you through it all okay so we're out here at the mine site and uh, this is a little scale house they had and that great big scale they had for weighing the uh, coal cars as they left the loaded train cars with coal. There's my dad and Nash up in the distance there. Great big building.
and it's all surrounded by the mountains, so pretty scenic to start with. So this is uh, Can you where they. What that rock when they built this, thing? this is where they used to tip the uh, train the cars, cars to dump yeah. the coal out. John, I mean the heavy dizziness of all this crap. There's the uh, coal chute where all the coal got loaded into the car. Whoa, that's pretty, big. pretty amazing when you consider this was built in 1912. Look at those big gear teeth on the ratchets on the tipper. For, for, for a train. And a big burner too. Some sort of old boiler system in here. Look at that. There's a lot of oil in there. Right? Yeah. We used to have a generator or something in here. Just electrical panel. Okay, so this looks like the main pump house for the uh, water for the mine site, I'm guessing. Definitely looks like a large water pump there, so. They must have sprayed that. Was that a preservative? Like the walls, are they just black from the uh, coal dust or no, that looks like preservative? I don't know. Because they're preserving all these buildings. So. Okay, so this here was actually a briquette plant and this is one of the briquette presses. So every one of these would have uh, had a briquette come out of it and they must have had some, it almost looks like a chrome plating on there. They had some sort of plating on it that still exists on there today so that it would uh, obviously slide out of the mold easier. Okay, so we're just going to go into the, the main building here. I believe it is actually a briquette plant. This is a briquette press. See, there's that thing that you took a picture of outside. In there. Yeah, it's not tough. Uh, my light's not very sufficient in here. But okay. we'll do our best. Well, you'll get more light from the other side. This is a briquette press. Okay, you can see the huge gear there. So that's the stairway over there. Okay, and all this metal stairway and everything is original. Pretty amazing feat for back in 1912, I believe, is when the construction started here. I get 
Yeah, I will, bud. Now she wanted to make sure you saw the big gears. Yeah, these are hoppers that fed the briquettes, or the coal into the briquette press. That's the electrical panel. Yeah, I'm going to get in there in a minute. I just want to get a view out the window from up here. I'm not sure if these would have been here when the original mine was set up. I'm thinking they would have added these later on in the 30s or something like that, 40s. But see all these electrical panels here. Big drive belts. Again here, there's some sections that have been chained off that are unsafe. giant gears that they foraged or whatever back in these early days. Pretty amazing. Giant electric motor here. Let's see where this specs on it here. Twenty-five horsepower it looks like. Wow. Beastly. Yeah, I see that. Another giant water here. Actual coal there. Where is this one? Oh, yeah, that is coal. Grab the coal. Come over here and I'll show you some real coal. Coal. Small walk, really? Thank you. 
So this one's gated off. I can't go in this building, but uh, not even sure what that is. God, there's a lot of scrap steel around here. It's a small miracle. No one destroyed this place. That's for the scrap steel, but I'm glad they didn't. Okay, here's the big uh, furnace. like a fan, I would say, good old fan blade. Dad, that would be like a blower for the furnace, blower fan? Probably, here's the real wall. Yeah, there's a housing over here. Pretty big guy. Oh. Don't forget, this must have been hotter than hell in here. Oh, God, yeah. Just Other side of the uh, big furnace here. There's the back side of that fan I was talking about. That's the housing. Really big electric motor in there. We're going up. I don't know if there's anything up here. Well, the real thing is the people must have left them. Big chains there. Sorry, my uh, camera is not lighting the way that well. There, you can see those ones a lot better. Mound of coal out there. Yeah, this must have been a busy place back in the day. Packing all the steel up there. They didn't have cranes in here. Yeah. Oh, cars. Maybe cars that can go five and a half hours. This must have been the testing center. I wonder what we here. Yeah, it would be heavy, bud. Mm -hmm. Even if, if even if you are There, the old workbenches. Mm -hmm. 
with a tin top on them. It's kind of an odd looking electrical connector. I guess that was what they were using at the time. Yeah, I was noticing that. And those big bolts. What's this for? Well, those are rivets right there. Yeah, they're all riveted. And then some of them are bolts with the uh, old square head on them. Is this a square we went down last time? Yeah, you go down this long hallway here, but pretty cool. They got panels in the roof. Those aren't original, I don't think, but just to light it. I see they had a power system with lights in here, but the Historic Society is taking those fiberglass panels to, just to make it fast. lit. That might be too, but they go too fast going down the roofs. Now what are these things down exactly? These chutes here? I don't know what coal comes down here and I think it went in the conveyor. This was the conveyor system and they had the levers to let the coal onto the conveyor. Like this. Because that was the testing center, so you mean all the coal I think went, all the, the, was all processed the coal, through there. All the coal came down through here. Yeah, okay. Some of these are locked and some of them are like open. Oh, this one had all the Some of the conveyor rollers here. Yeah. The rest of it. And this locked one too. Still turns nice and freely. They used to just open these and let the coal under the conveyor. Ooh, brown coal. Don't go grabbing that, your hands will be blocked. I'm sure they already are. <laughs> Ooh, that's not that. Yeah, it's just again. Okay, so we're getting to the top of the site here. And, uh, so this was all... Here's the cool thing. This is what they used to... Uh, Tip the little mine cart over. And they still have one in there. Yeah. So here's a. You can see that. Uh, chain dragged it right along there pulled the carts along there it's like a hitching point on there okay I'll come with you bud pretty cool. You really got to come here yourself and uh, experience it in person. This video isn't going to do it justice, I'm afraid. Well, I just want to get a look at this. This is what pulls the cars along. So, and then there's another one over here as well.
I shall watch my step. Almost looks like it's wood. So this is the hoist house where they left it. the uh, cars out of the uh, mine. So this is, uh, there's the huge drum of cable and there's the huge electric motor that did the work. And there's the control lever. And I guess this is where the, uh, the operator lived. There's another electrical panel. This one looks a bit earlier than the other panels we were looking at. So maybe this is closer to uh, the original. Okay, so here's a close-up of that little tipper deal that uh, it tips the little mine carts. Okay, and then there, I guess it would all go into that hopper and down the line. There's the hopper. So we've got a toe behind grader, I would say. So this must have been one of the early pieces of equipment. Looks like it's at Adams, you can still see the name on there. Looks like the actual blade is missing. And if that's the seat, I feel sorry for the guy that had to operate it, because that does not look very comfy. Back when men were men, hey? And then here's another, this must have been their replacement for that one. Well, it looks like they got a much improved seat, some actual springs to sit on in that one. And we still got a semi-complete motor here. Oh, yeah, that's a shame. It looks like somebody's been uh, vandalizing that recently and stole a part off it. I hate when people do things like that. So here's a little miner's cabin that they've got restored, on the outside at least. Hardwood floors. Okay, so we got one of the old mine trucks here. Pretty cool. And it looks like it's a GMC. You can see right there. I like those. That's so cool, those headlights. So we got uh, what remains of another old truck here. Looks like the hood panels are inside it there. I don't think there's any identifying markings on it. Sometimes there's a VIN plate on the firewall or something that says what they are. It looks like it's had all sorts of welding done to it. 
there. Maple leaf. Wow. It's a maple leaf chuck. Okay, so it looks like I was off by a year. It was started in 1911, closed in 1955. Here we got a giant bulldozer with a custom built blade on it. Look at those welds. Or is that brazing, Dad? Is that Oh, and that's a caterpillar. And it looks like it's got a Hoover dozer attachment on it. Or is it, uh, that's weird, it says Hoover everywhere except up there, it says caterpillar. Looks like it has some modifications. What the heck is this all about? Oh, just like a storage bin for chains and stuff, I guess. And they got the side curtain still hanging up there. So these maple leaf trucks, if I'm not mistaken, they were um, a Canadian Chevrolet product, Canadian only. Pretty sure. Hope I'm right on that. So this is an electric uh, locomotive here for you pulling train cars around the yard. We got another sign here. Sorry if I'm shaking a little when, I, when I'm at these signs and trying to hold still and the mosquitoes are just eating me here, so doing my best. Uh, what was this, the workshop or blacksmith shop or what, Dad? This is the warehouse. Oh, the storage warehouse. Yeah. Okay, yeah, they got all the storage bins here. pressure tank with the rivets on it. I remember when I was younger I built an air compressor out of an old boiler tank like this. Now you'd have to be here and smell it to really appreciate it. You can smell all the old uh, Oil in here smells great. Bolt bins.
Okay, so this looks like a big workshop where they worked on the rail cars and different things like that. Other pieces of mining equipment. Look at this, it's pretty cool. Well, what's this over here? Is this a forge or something? That looks like a forge. Okay. Okay, well, here's some giant boilers. And they're made by uh, Vancouver Iron Works in Vancouver, BC. Pretty amazing. So I don't know, this almost looks like a smaller version of what's over in the briquette plant. This is this is for briquettes also, hey dad? Huh? This is also for briquettes, right? No. Oh. This is just a boiler for uh, heat and water. They pipe the water from the creek here. Okay, so this is for heating water. Heat everything. Hot water heat looks like. Okay, I see. It's a pipe running out there. Okay, I'm getting low on memory here guys and this video is getting long but just uh, getting some random pieces of there's a bunch of relics here so I'm not going to film all of it but I'll just uh, use another one of those uh, cart tippers. Okay, so we're here at the uh, number two tunnel here another tunnel but this is the, uh, the more scenic tunnel entrance to show you and they've got it blocked off further down there with the uh, rock And up there is a huge uh, ventilator fan and that actually uh, provided the miners with fresh air when they were down in the mine shaft there. So why not use an old tire for a saw guard? Okay, so they do have some uh, old vehicle wrecks at this uh, mine site here. So i uh, give you a quick walk around of them. I'm not exactly sure what they are. Maybe you can tell me. I was thinking these were Dodges, or at least that one just by the grill. Kind of looks like a Dodge product to me. This one I know is a uh, GM product that says GM right on the engine, so right down there. Old window regulator there. And we got a little trunk garden going on here. It's a pretty unique feature. Just one more truck cab and frame it looks like over here. Kind of looks like a Chevrolet dash to me. 
That would be my best guess. That pretty well concludes this video. We're gonna head home now. Thanks for watching. Okay, so we were wa just walking back out to the gate and I saw this sitting in the woods here, so I figured I better catch a quick little clip of it. Not much left of it.